Well, I think for any company that has a service configuration issue like this, and it's a core part of today's modern digital supply chain, the first thing that they have to do is communicate really quickly to their clients that they have an impact and that they're investigating it. And I think you saw Fastly do that. This isn't a new thing. It's not even unique to the internet. This is what happens when humans run really big pieces of technology for lots of others. And we just need to be aware of this as we continue to build more dependence. And I think for, for me, I think from a policy perspective as well, understanding and mapping your dependencies and how your system or the things you're dependent on are interdependent with one another, CDN networks, your communications providers, your DNS providers, these are core pieces that everybody's got a very complicated and complex web of relationships for. And that's exactly why you saw such a significant outage from such a small local event. That's not going away, it's gonna get worse. It's important to remember that these are big complex systems and it just really requires a lot of care and feeding. And it's really, really important for everyone who depends on them to make sure they know what happens to their business, what happens to their business process, if they have to fall back to uh, an alternate or a contingent plan. It turns out that these types of outages, whether they're accidental or whether they're malicious, if you remember attacks like in 2016, we had the Dyn DNS attack uh, that was a DDoS attack. These are the same kinds of things that can happen. Lots and lots and lots of applications and services all depend on a couple of these big providers, uh, all operating appropriately, operating successfully all the time.